Hey everybody, my name is Ryan, and here at eTrailer we install, test fit, and review a lot of different parts. That way we can try to answer any questions that you guys might have. And that's exactly what we're doing here today on our 2020 Nissan Rogue. We're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. So right off the bat, one of the big questions that we get asked all the time is if the hitch is going to interfere with the hands-free liftgate assist feature and that's not the case you're still able to use it even when you have the hitch on the back of your rope but other than that my first impressions of the hitch is i think it looks really good on the back of the road it's going to be completely hidden for the most part really the only thing you're going to be able to see is the receiver tube opening here it sits up nice and tight against the bottom of our suv and it has a really nice black powder coat finish. So it really does do a good job of blending in and appears almost as if it's a factory option. So this is a class three hitch. So it's gonna give us that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. That's a really common size and you can use a ton of different accessories with this hitch here. It's gonna have a reinforced collar for extra strength and it's gonna have the standard 5 8 pinhole. Now, keep in mind, a pin and clip does not come included, but if you need one, you can pick it up right here at E-Trader. We're gonna have loop style safety chain openings, which give us quite a bit of space and should allow us to use just about any size hook that we might have. Now, as far as the hitch's weight capacities go, it's gonna have a 525 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. That's gonna be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. That's a pretty high number, so you should be able to use pretty much any size bike rack or cargo carrier that you would want to, for example. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, it's gonna be 3,500 pounds. And that's gonna be the amount of weight that's pulling on the hitch. So that is the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. Now I do always like to suggest Never a bad idea just to grab your Nissan's owner's manual. That way you can make sure your Rogue can pull that much weight safely. And if you do plan on doing a little bit of towing, I would suggest picking up some trailer wiring. That way the lights on your trailer will match up with the lights on the back of your Rogue and you'll be safe and legal. So we do get a lot of questions about people wanting to use bike racks with their hitch and which ones will work out the best. Now there's a couple of them that I know for sure work out real well and that's the Thule Roadway, as well as the Thule Hitching Post Pro. Now I say that because our hitch does sit back a little bit behind our bumper, and so we don't have a ton of clearance. And those two racks that I mentioned have relatively long shanks, so they kind of set the rack out, and those will allow you to actually fold that rack up into this upright position without having to worry about making contact with the back of your road. Now, with that being said, there's many, many other bike racks that we test fit and figure out which ones work out well. And if those two racks that I mentioned don't interest you, you can always see e-trailer and find one that you really like. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of measurements and you can use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's gonna be about 14 and a half inches. So if you do plan on doing some towing, chances are pretty good. You're going to need to get a ball mount with a slight rise. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, that's going to be about five inches. And you can use that measurement to help figure out that if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in that upright position without contacting the bumper. So at the end of the day, a hitch that's gonna look good on the back of your Nissan and be able to handle pretty much anything you wanna throw at it. Now, as far as the installation goes, really not a whole lot to it, believe it or not. Everything's pretty straightforward and shouldn't take you a whole lot of time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be underneath the back of our Nissan here. And the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is remove our underbody panels. So over here on the passenger side, we're gonna have three push pin style fasteners. And the way to get those out Take a flathead screwdriver, kind of pry underneath the head of it, and you're able to pop it free. So get those two, and then this one up here in this little pocket. 
Now over here on the passenger side of our vehicle, we're going to have a tow hook that we need to remove. That way it'll allow us to get our hitch in place. So this tow hook here is gonna be held in place with four bolts. We're gonna have two on the bottom. So we'll pull those out using an 18 millimeter socket. And then we're gonna have two more located on the side of it. So again, we'll take our 18 and get those out. We remove our tow hook and set it to the side. So now we can go over our attachment points that we're gonna to use to secure our hitch. On the passenger side here, we're gonna have two. So we're gonna be using this factory weld nut as well as this one. Now I do suggest, not a bad idea, just to clean any potential dirt or debris that may be inside. I'm just gonna use a two brush. You can also spray some silicone or some penetrating oil in there to get anything out. And if we move over here to the driver's side, we're gonna have a total of three attachment points. So we have this well nut here, this one here, and this one right there. Again, I'm just gonna clean any potential dirt and debris out of those as well. So now what we can do is kind of go over the hardware that's gonna hold our hitch up in place. So it's really straightforward. We're just gonna have a bolt and we're gonna put a conical tooth washer over that bolt. You wanna make sure that the teeth on the washer are gonna face up towards the hitch. So we'll hold our hitch up, line everything up, and then just simply thread our bolt into that weld nut. And this hardware combination is going to be the same for all of our attachment points. Now with an extra set of hands, we can raise our hitch into position. line up the holes in the hitch with our attachment points. So we take one of our bolts and we want to get at least one started on each side hand tight. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. So now that we have all of our hardware in place and hand tight, we can use a 19 millimeter socket to snug everything down. And then we can come back with a torque wrench and tighten all the hardware down to the amount specified in our instructions. Now over here on the passenger side, we can reinstall our underbody panel the opposite way that we removed it. So we'll get it lined up. Take our push pin fasteners and get them secured. Now, as far as the panel for the driver's side is concerned, you got a couple of choices of what you can do. You can simply just leave it off. That's perfectly fine. Or you can trim out a small opening. That way it'll fit around the hitch and reinstall it. And that's what we're gonna do today. So I just held it up and kind of eyeballed where we need to cut. And you can see I made a little diagram there. So it says relatively thin plastic. I'm just gonna use a pair of snips to cut this material out. So after that original cut, I did kind of test fit our panel and realized we still had some interference. So I went ahead and just took out this little extra piece that was right here using that same pair of snips. And this is how it turned out. And now we can go ahead and reinstall our panel over here on the driver's side.
And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on our 2020 Nissan Rogue.